Hi guys, welcome back. I hope your week is going well. We're almost close to Friday. Have any ideas? Me and my, my family do movie night every Friday. I'm gonna read the first story. My sister's gonna read the second. Stay to the end. I'll be reading the second story. Judges 4, 1, 2, 7. Deborah judges Israel. One of Israel's judges was Deborah. She was the only woman ever to judge Israel. People would come to see her in the hills of Ephraim. Deborah sat under a palm tree giving advice and solving problems. Like the other judges, Deborah had God's spirit with her. This is why people followed her advice. But in the north, a Canaanite king named Jabin attacked Israel. Israel had left God and was wor worshiping idols. Deborah sent for Barak. The God of Israel commands you to raise an army. He'll let you defeat Jabin's army. We have some questions. Why did Israel follow Deborah? I remember. Because Deborah was the only woman to judge Israel. That's correct, Sinai. And I'm pretty sure you got them too, friends. Why did she, why did she send for Barak. Do you remember tonight? The God of Israel commands him to raise an army. The bravery of Deborah and Jael. The text is Judges 4, 8 to 24. Let's start our story. Deborah had spoken for the Lord. But Barak said, I won't go to war unless you go with me. I will go with you, said, said Deborah. But you didn't trust God, so you won't get the honor of the war. God will give this victory to a woman. Together they sent out a call for the men in the north. 10,000 men joined them at Mount Tabor. But this was a small army compared to the Canaanites. Deborah sent Barak and his army to attack. The Canaanites had no time to get ready. They were frightened and ran away. Chariots, men, and horses all trampled one another. The Lord made a river flood, and many enemies were drowned there. Sisera the Canaanite general jumped from his chariot and ran away. He came to the tent of a woman named Jael. She knew Sisera and invited him in and hid him under a rug. The battle had made him so tired that Sisera fell asleep. Then Jael drove a tent peg into Sisera's head and killed him. So Deborah and Jael were brave enough to set Israel free. Quite a long story, guys, but interesting. Are you ready for the questions? How did the Lord help Israel win the battle? That's right. God only trusted in Deborah. 
That was the only way God would give the victory to Israel. Who killed Sisera? That's right, perfect answer. Jail killed him. Thank you for reading with us. Bye.